Okay. All right, your take. Go. On aliens? Yeah. Do I think they're real? Wait, should I give you mine first? Yeah. I'll so s- that you can tell me. Yeah, let me let me hear yours. All right. <laughs> My take is that I think it's entirely possible that everything that we've talked about is true. Okay. And I don't think it brings up that many problems. Okay. And I don't mind being, be, you know, not feeling as special as I did before if we meet aliens. Because right. I don't think any of the doctrine suggests that I should feel any less special. Okay. And I think for any of that to work, Jesus would have had to gone and died for them. Okay. And I don't know how that works with the verses that we read, but right. But it could fit in there, maybe. Maybe. Because <laughs> I don't think we could just go to another planet and start pounding our religion into them right and be like no our guy is the best they'd be like okay you know what i mean (laughs) so we've been fine because if they're still alive then they're okay right but but i also like i think the idea is cool that there are aliens out there that haven't fallen yet okay and and how that is and okay thinking about that but i think all of that's possible okay and i think <clears throat> if i think that that since it's all in every you know the whole universe is in god's timing or whatever right that that he would have timed all this perfectly mm. to where if we ever met aliens it would be after they've fallen to not bring up any problems. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Cuz he did it he did our whole Bible in perfect timing. Sure. So all of that would ha- would then happen in perfect timing into the future. Gotcha. According to his time. Okay. So we would never meet probably we would never just have the ability to meet other fallen okay beings. Okay. And everything would work out according to God's plan. Okay. And I think aliens could fit into the into that. Okay. Fine. So you're saying you're cool with not just that there's aliens, but the aliens that are image bearers. Yeah. Okay. I think that would be I think if if we found aliens that were image bearers, that would be more uh confirming of what I believe Mm. then would not. Okay. Because I think God would have had to given them their own book or you know what I'm saying? Their own, sure. Their own materials and however they have it to that point to what they think is their God. Okay. And one of those things would have to be real God because they're in our universe. Right. If they're image bearers. If they're image bearers, yeah. Like, I don't think God's just going to create things and then not create things in his image and then not tell them he exists. Sure. Like, no, I, have I to, agree. Right. I okay. Agree. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So I don't mind any of it. And I think it would all work out in God's timing. Okay. So you're willing to go as far out there hypothetically as possible. Yeah. Okay. Except to the point where we're meeting fallen beings okay but i'm okay with jesus going and dying for right other things so but we were allowed to meet fallen angels why not fallen aliens because of what we said about adam and eve okay and we wouldn't be able to go in there gotcha okay not fallen you're talking about no i'm not fallen oh you're saying you're saying we would not be allowed to meet those that are not fallen right oh okay i'm falling i'm falling now okay but if if e- evil angels came and talked to evil people, then whatever. Right. It's evil. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm I'm trekking with you now. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, basically I don't think we'd be able to meet them. And right. I think God would keep that separated. Okay. Time and distance and communication wise. Okay. Until the time was right for us to meet them after they've fallen. So I like all that. You're, and I you're, think that's there. Good. I'm good with all that. Yeah. Yeah. And that would not be threatening to my faith at all. Sure. It would 
confirm it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. All right, Joseph's take now. Take me down. <laughs> we did this with uh, Israel. Uh, right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to take you down on this one because this is a whole different can of yeah. worms. This is like, what are we you know, even talking about? This um, is pretty much the same as Israel. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> no. And so this is this is aliens. Yeah. Um, I think for me, I can leave the door open for the possibility that there are aliens. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, unlike yourself, I don't think I can go to the point to where they would be image bearers. Okay. Why? Okay? Because of the salvific issue. Okay. That. Theologically, for me, Christ can only die once, according to Romans 6, 9, and follow it, following. Right. So it says he's clearly he, that Christ only dies once. And, and so, and he's dying for humanity, the Im his image bearers. Okay. I have a question. Okay. What does, what does Christ encompass? Yeah. Does Christ mean fully God, fully man? Uh huh. Or does Christ mean just fully God? Because okay. if it meant fully God, fully man, mm -hmm. and we're saying a fully God, fully man is only going to die once, uh huh. Then couldn't fully God, fully alien <laughs> still die? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I hear what you're saying. I guess what I would say is I think when it's saying Christ, it's referring to the second person of the Trinity. Okay. And so for me, if, if we label the second per the if we're talking about the second person of the Trinity, so if we're talking about the Trinity being Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay. The Son is only dying once. Okay. And so regardless of the form that that takes the son is only dying once. Okay. And so for me, that's how I would interpret that and understand that. And so, you know, and so that, so the son is only going to die once. Um, and, and so I really, for me, that would be the issue for me of why I would have a hard time with aliens being image bearers, being like us in that sense, because, if they're like us, then one of the things they had to have been given was freedom to choose, free will. And in free will, over time, you would think that they would eventually sin. And if that's the case, then where's their salvation found? So if the salvation can't be found in the sun, then where is it found? And that would be my issue. And because the same principles that work the whole way through Scripture of the Son having to come, be in our likeness, shed his blood for the sake of humanity, because life is found in the blood, therefore the blood had to be shed. For me, that only works with us. Okay. So I'm more of the mindset that if there are aliens that are that are more than just like animals, right? Right. That they're actually intelligent, rational beings. Mm -hmm. That they would they would be more in the mold of like angels. Okay. And so or demons or demons. Okay. And so I would think they would have more of the. The rationale, the kind of things of uh, relating to God as an angel, though I do think uh, so. So I guess I'm open to the possibility there can be aliens. Mm -hmm. They would be somehow similar to like an angel and not image bearers like us. But I think a lot of probably what we're talking about in with aliens is more than likely the demonic. Why? I find that to probably be a little more true than the fact that there's been other beings out there for thousands of years that we've just not known about. 
again, so I'm leaving the door open that there can be a- aliens. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, but are they really? Are there are there really aliens? <laughs> I mean, that is what we're saying. I mean, are there really? Are there really? <laughs> uh, again, I'll leave the door open. Yeah. It's not a it's not a you know hell or heaven issue. Uh-huh. Bible is silent on it. So I don't want to make the argument from silence really either way. But isn't that the best way to mess with people? Oh, sure, to mess with people. For for demons to mess with people. Is to convince them. Is to to be dealing in stuff that the Bible doesn't mention. Oh, sure. Right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And and to try to get them caught up in it. Right. And even divide it over. Yeah. Yeah, like this conversation. <laughs> right. <laughs> We are divided. Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> but I think that that's, so I, I, I feel like it's probably more demonic things we've seen manifesting in the natural than actual aliens. But again, okay. but again, if aliens are out there and they're real and I'll leave that possibility open, mm. I would say it, it's so like, in other words, if we find out. A year from now, we're doing this podcast, and all of a sudden, we know mm. aliens are absolutely yeah. real. Like, I'm yeah. not going to sit here and go, wow, well, that just yeah. destroys my whole theology. A bunch of YouTube videos. Nate called uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a prophet. Yeah, right. right. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I, would, I would rather say, I would, I would instead say, hey, all this does is prove God's greatness and mm. his... Ability to do whatever he wants and create however he wants, yeah. wherever he wants, and the fact that there's another, there's there's another intelligent beings that have been designed by an intelligent designer. There's another. There's somewhere else. I mean, the percentage is already so unbelievably low for there to be one life giving and life sustaining planet. Mm-hmm. For there to be another would just be like mind-boggling yeah but god can do whatever he wants and that's my point it almost proves more that there actually is a god right because statistically for there would be oh okay that's your point statistically for there to be one right is highly improbable right if there ended up being like two or three or four or whatever Mm -hmm. you'd be like holy cow what are we even i mean this is we're getting into crazy improbability world right and so I would think that would only prove the fact that there really is an intelligent designer and that designer is God. Um, and so anyway, so yeah, so it would actually end up kind of, um, con- you know, like it was interesting because I think both of us are saying, Hey, if there's aliens, that only confirms our faith. Right. I think we just have a difference of opinions on what yeah. those aliens may or may not be. Right. So, um, but anyway, so that's, that's, that's my take on it. Okay. Yeah. But de- definitely plants out there. Oh sure. God put a put could have put plants. And God could have put plants. R- flora, fauna. Rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Sure. Okay. Anywhere. Anywhere. That's cool. Yeah. Just more stuff for us to go discover and eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. So, do I think there's a a, a pretty high, you know, possibility probability that there is more you know simple life out there yeah oh uh, yeah yeah absolutely there better be otherwise what are we doing <laughs> why are, why are we looking for other stuff yeah there's got to be something else to cook on the fourth of july <laughs> we've been eating hamburgers for 400 years or whatever right. we got to get to mars yeah, and figure out got, what they've got right yeah <laughs> they gotta have something good to eat yeah yeah all right